Welcome everyone welcome everyone to Arts Class and Everything in Between. I am your host, Eileen, aka Eileen Little Crother. Additional information about this podcast show and my two YouTube shows on YouTube can be found on my website, EileenLittleCrother.com. Alrighty guys, so I have a couple of things to say. First off, uh, I would like to wish my niece Olivia happy twentieth birthday. I can't believe you're going to be 20. Happy birthday, sweetheart. I love you. And I hope that you have an awesome birthday. Oh, I feel so old. Wow. 20. I hope that you enjoy your 20s. Uh, also, it's the first of the month. So I also would like to um, say that I'm going to be doing an update about my on my channel, Lifestyle Chain. So I will put a link down below. And I also will have um, on my website... Uh, information on my blog about <clears throat> my lifestyle change video and update and uh, I think that's it for the announcements <laughs> wow I still honestly I still can't believe it's September but um yeah so um it should be almost pretty much time for uh the summer animes to be winding down um as you know the spring one wound down and I didn't do anything so I apologize for that so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to kind of uh give you uh what's what i've been watching on quenchy roll what i've been watching on funimation and kind of give you guys like a run through of how each site um is and the pricing and stuff like that um they do uh have free membership available as well so just an fyi on that they both also have um apps um so whether you know you just have to look at which site would be better for you in terms of um and price wise um which 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 site would work better for you in terms of app wise for your ios or android phones anyway so moving right along um i'll give you um the price range uh the the free membership has limited um anime and drama the minute manga ads on video, the videos and manga, uh, stream, streams on most devices, standard definition 4080p, standard customer uh, support, uh, the premium plus, I mean the premium and the premium plus um, kind of have almost the same things and a little bit of differences. So I will read you the prices of each one and I will let you know which, what they both have and what is different. <clears throat> okay, so the Premium Plus packet, um, Premium Plus, Premium, Premium Membership, sorry, is uh, $6.95 a month and the Premium Plus is $11.99, excuse me, um, and you can also uh, gift a friend to, to, for both of them. Both have all access and drama. All access to anime and drama. Uh, simulcast. Okay, excuse me. Enjoy the newest episodes as soon as one hour before Japan. All access to manga. Read the latest. Excuse me, my cat's playing with something. All access Excuse me. All access to manga. Sorry. Read the latest manga out chapters as soon as they are published in the pa- in Japan. No ads. Stream on all devices. High definition, eighty twenty p and seven twenty p. Premium email support and priority response guarantee. Now here is where they're different. I will first read the premium membership uh has only uh, something called discount in the country world store in terms of additional features for the premium plus membership it has discount in country world store as uh, country world store plus uh free shipping on eligible products us only vip convention perks like special goodie bags exclusive events and front of the line pl- excuse me, privilege 
for Crunchyroll event. Enter into exclusive contact, um, contests, exclusive premium plus virtual badge, and early access to beta testing new features. So that is that. Again, those those prices are for the premium membership is six dollars and ninety five cents, and the premium plus is eleven ninety nine, and they have a free one. So, um, one cool difference that I like about the site is that they also have um, when you look on the shows up top, it has the Crunchyroll uh, logo. They have the shows, the manga, the news forums and they also have the store you can also have um a quarry which is basically your favorite shows that you you know random your profile um and they have different types of down below anime and then drama they have popular um simulcast updated alphabetical genre and seasons so i'm gonna click on seasons they start off with uh summer 2016 but I'm going to go into summer 16 and read you the first anime that I have like a little banner which is orange to let you know that this is one of the shows that you are watching um again you can just go to your quarry but I figured this one is easier so to let you know because I didn't get I didn't get a chance to give you guys uh my update on what I liked in terms of or what I was continuing to watch in summer, um, excuse me, spring 2016. Uh, the Brotherhood has four. Um, basically, it's about a prince who um, is, I guess, on the run from the baddies. <laughs> and uh, he's traveling with his um, companions and protectors along the way. Uh, so that only has four episodes. Um, Banjo Stray Dogs. Um, it's done for the season, but I think that it's definitely going to come back. It was a really good anime, guys. Um, people with special abilities that come together with an agency. Some have passed. Some are learning how to use their abilities. I'm not going to tell you very much, but th- it is really good. Another key interesting point that uh, Crunchyroll had pointed out. They they made a nice little video. Um, I forgot the... The gentleman's name but he was so excited about this anime um that he actually went on you know and talked about how the author and how he used his influence and love of literature to make these characters they're based off of literature characters and stuff like that in their lives and stuff like that um very deep interesting thoughts and it was really really cool um, you could probably find that on the Funimation, now, excuse me, Crunchyroll, uh, sorry about that, Crunchyroll, uh, fan page on, uh, Facebook, or even, you know, see if they have, um, a YouTube channel, which they probably do, um, okay, so that's a really good one, um, moving right along, 100 was a really good one, it's done for the season, that one has 12 episodes, but it's, it looks like it's coming back, um, basically, the Earth is under attack, or was or is still under attack, from these insects creatures, and the humanity learns how to use their powers against them, and they, it's called Hundreds, and they are in the floating floating cities, and these cities are protected by um, different um, fighting schools or army schools, so that is interesting. Um... The next one is called uh, Kazumi Kazama Achai. I hate this. K I Z N A I V E R. 27 episodes. Really good. Um, a city based off of an experiment that has to do with the different types of emotions. Um, and disappointment, uh, friendship loss, different types of emotions that uh, people have to deal with each and every day. So I think you would definitely find this very interesting. Um, Naruto Subutin is another really good one. Um, it has, I think it's on to season, I want to say 18, but it could be 17. Um, it has 400 and 
47 episodes. Um, basically, it's about Naruto Uzumaki. He is the host of the Ninetale Fox. And he is supposedly... He's an orphan and he was looked at as an outsider, someone who basically people didn't want around because they thought that he was dangerous because of the Ninetale Fox. All of the um, hosts of the Ninetale Fox, basically, I'm not all Ninetale Fox, but the nine, the, I don't want to say Ninetale, um, the tail beast, um, I believe that's the term that they use, uh, they are considered taboo, evil, and only to be used as weapons. Um, but now to Uzumaki wants to change that and become a Hokage, which is basically the leader, the head hunter of the village. Um, and he's slowly changing that. And this time around, he, he's changed that, and everybody looks at him as a hero. And now, at this point, they are trying to basically... Um, they're in the midst of a war where they're trying to save not only the the leaf village but the whole of humanity of this of this mythological realm so yeah so um so that's a really good anime uh asterisk war a s t e r a r i s k war is another good one basically it's about a princess and a young man uh, the princess basically they they enrolled uh, again in this type of school um instead of going to war they have different types of war schools um and they learn how to they also have different types of fighting skills and they <clears throat> They're in these campuses, and the campuses, they fight for prestige and honor, but they also get a prize. The princess wants money so that she and power so that she can help influence her country, which is basically a puppet state. And she also wants to help an orphanage that she's quite fond of. Um, the young man in this anime wants to basically find out where his sister is, so he's going to use his influence in that. In that direction, the Lost Village is another. Um, that has twenty four. That I think this one, um, is going to be uh, going on its third season. Um, so that's how it left off. Where it looked like, um, it will be coming back next season. So I don't know when, but uh, keep your ears and eyes posted for that one. Uh, the Village, the Lost Village is another really good one. It has 12 episodes. This one, um, I don't know if it's going to come back unless they uh, bring a new cast. It's basically about people who are trying to get away from their ordinary life. And they think that uh, by going to this village that they won't be uh, found by anybody. Um, so it turns out that it's something with sinister and evil in this um, village. And it turns out to be something so much more. So I definitely would give this one a watch. Um, it's not gory by any chance. So FYI. I know that some people are like, oh, I don't want to watch that. Because, you know, sometimes they're gory. Um, Twin Star Exorcist is a really good one. Basically, it's about two exorcists. Exorcists are basically, and I'm saying it probably totally wrong, are those who ban vanquish evil. Um, and these two are called the twin exorcists and they are to be married so that they can give birth or life to the, um, I forgot what it's called. I'm just going to kind of, he's basically, or he's, she's basically the vanquisher of evil. Um, but they don't even like each other and it's kind of funny and towards the end, like now they're kind of, you know, um, realizing that they are better together than apart. So, and there's so much more, you know, so I definitely don't want to give away, but I think that you guys would really enjoy this one. It kind of has like a little bit of comedy, a little bit of, and this is the one that I, I think I, I mentioned before, um, that I really didn't like the way the main, one of the main characters, Roku, Rokuwa, Rokuwa, sorry, Roku, Rokura, I didn't like the way he was drawn. And, but I, I wind up loving it. I just really was really cool. 
So that is the season, uh, spring 2016 season anime that um, I've been watching. Um, and Twin Exorcist is still going strong. So if you guys want to check that out, um, I would definitely check it out. Um, so moving right along. I accidentally pressed the wrong button. Let's move on to uh, summer um, 2016. Audion of the Sky. A L D E R A M I I N of the Sky is another really good one. Um, six characters basically. One is a princess who wants to change the empire, another one. Um, hates the Empire because of what happened to his family. Um, and he doesn't have any care for them. But he does care for his friend who is like the sword of the Empire. But she's afraid that, you know, she's just going to be seen as a war machine. And she doesn't want to just become so war-minded. Um, so the young man is always there to help her, you know snap out of that type of situation a nobleman who basically uh has to prove himself but is kind of scared and he's learning how to be more assertive with himself uh a young lady who basically is shy but is learning how to come out of her shell and matthew who basically is uh, a commoner who has to feel that he proves himself and it's it's really good um Berserker is another interesting one. Um, Berserker, I would say, is kind of bloody, um, sexual in nature. Uh, so I would not definitely recommend this for young kitties. Um, anyone under, I think, I would I would say seventeen. Uh, shouldn't be watching this. Um, I kind of feel that it's maybe too adult in nature. Well, I mean. A 17 you may be able to hand it, but uh, I don't know. Um, it's basically about a a man seeking revenge for uh, being betrayed by his leader who sends him and his, um, the woman that he cares about in, uh, to the underworld to be tormented and dismembered by demons. And it's it there's a lot to this story so i'm just gonna leave it at that you know it's very gruesome um just a heads up uh digimon adventures is still seems to be going strong um nine episodes if you guys heard about that i know you guys pretty much heard about that uh digimon um this one um basically the digimon adventures is uh Ty and the gang are growing up. Joe is in college. Um, most of the kids are in high school. So yeah. so And they haven't been in contact with the Digimon for a very long time. And now they are back. Um, next one is called The Outcasts. Uh, really, really cool. Um, it basically has to deal with people with supernatural powers. Um, and the main character doesn't really know too much about his grandfather and his grandfather tried to train train him in the way of some type of martial arts and uh as he got older he kind of forgot about it and is now has having to relearn and it's just a very complicated uh situation and he's kind of learning as he goes along the way uh so that was called outcast and that one has eight episodes. Uh, Quadillion Code Q U A L I D E A Code is eight episodes, and it's basically another school, or actually no, it's basically about uh, Japan that um. Uh, and I'm 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 guessing this is kind of not just Japan insane, but this, they're just using Japan. Um, the Earth is attack, and they decided that the children would be best if they um are put into sleep, and uh, when they wake up, they they have these 
abilities, supernatural abilities called the world and each, the strongest ones basically, there's three different areas that they protect. The strongest ones protect a school and they have like kind of like, one has her brother as, I guess her number two and then one has his best friend as his number two and the other one is another female who has her best friend and they each have special abilities called the world and they are fighting again some creatures called the unknown and there's more to the story but i don't want to give it away because it's so good um again that that's uh called quadumium <laughs> quo 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 cold and again i will put all this information on the um website in my blog section um <clears throat> This one is called Taboo Tattoo, nine episodes. Basically, it's about uh, ta- tattoos that are put placed on a body and they're supernatural in nature. Um, and a crazy princess and people trying to get these tattoos so that they, you know, don't have to rewrite the world. So, the Morris... Morris... Moriankin? Oh god, I butchered that so badly. M O R O S E, one word. Second word, M O N O N O K E A N. It's about an exorcist who is sending yoki or otherworldly creatures on his on their way to the underworld. And one of them is as a student. Um, well, not the yoki. Uh, how the story goes is basically this student comes to the exorcist and he has a problem with a yoki who's draining his energy, and he doesn't have the money to uh, for the work to be done. So he becomes his assistant, and they learn how. And throughout this adventure, they're um, learning about each other and they are learning about humans and yoki and how to deal with it all at the same time. And there's more to the story once again, but I don't want to give too much away. Um, so that has nine episodes. And so that is it for the what I am watching on Quenchy World. So thank you so much guys for, um, dealing with me. I will have this definitely at ASAP. Um, and, uh, I really appreciate you guys listening and tuning in. And again, if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. Or you can always go to my website, which I'll have the link down. Just contact me. You know, you guys can leave me also an email. Um, Don't be shy. (laughs) Would love to hear from you. And uh, I really appreciate it. So you have a wonderful week. And uh, thank you for listening. Bye for now.